And I'd like to start today's episode with a special message to all of my loyal and appreciated viewers. All of you can go and just eat crap. Honestly, I set up a poll, right? And I wanted an answer. And as of this moment, where I'm recording this video at 1 o'clock in the morning on a... I don't know what day it is. Friday, I think? But I don't know. But as of the moment, that poll stands at 50-50 between Callie and Richard and Heathcliff and Catherine. And you know what? That's really annoying. I specifically told you, no 50-50. But what did you do? You went out of your way and you did it. How horrible. This is the meanest thing that anyone has ever done to me. But, you know, if Lauren gives birth this episode, what we're going to do... Is we're going to split it, we're either going to have it be Callie if it's a girl, or Heathcliff if, if it's a boy. Like, we'll just do a mix of both, because we failed to reach consensus. You know, what a mess. Honestly, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. <sighs> Talking of people who should be ashamed of themselves, Ellen stop. What are you doing? You, this is not how you find love. If you've got good needs and you're wasting your life, you know, juggling coffee mugs. Talking of not having good needs. Oh god, they're still cleaning up Chinese food. Call this guy. Oh god, answering machine. How rude. Go and get ready. Everyone's returning from work at the same time to uh, stand around. I don't know what Holly's wearing. What job do you have? Music teacher. You know what? That is what my music teacher wore. My music teacher was not nice. Her name was Miss Hill, and she used to get really angry that we sung We Wish You a Merry Christmas wrong. Honestly, like, we weren't saying wish right, it was honestly, it was a whole thing with her. Why don't you learn some skills, you bunch of nothings? Skills, where's the books? Where's the books? Where's the books? Go study, read the books. No, nope. oh, oh god, I'm really messing this up, aren't I? Go read the books. Everybody needs to stop hanging around, being ah, get engaged to Darren. Okay, we're doing that. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Stop crying. You need social. You need social. Right, let's get ready and we'll engage. That's what we're going to do. Just uh, call Darren. We know he's got nothing to do because he hasn't got a job. He's a bit useless. Um, Lauren, if you could just go to bed, don't want you ruining the engagement. Eleanor, if you could just uh, find something to do with your life, maybe. Maybe drive out, take a spin in the car. Um, Iron, if you could just uh, stop reading the paper, because that's helping. Are you gaining social? What the hell are you gaining social for, reading the newspaper? You're a weird man, Lauren. You're a weird man. You've got all your skills as well. Can your friend come over too? No! You're gonna be proposed to. Well, actually, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Eleanor, get out of that car. We are not proposing to him in the house. We're gonna have to take him out somewhere special. Get out of that car. Eleanor, Eleanor Stark. Eleanor, you monster. You... That's what I thought. Honestly. Honestly, how rude. No, 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 no. What are you doing to each other? It's just very odd, whatever that was. Everyone just finds me to busy themselves. Yeah, shut up. Shut up with art. The maid didn't even clean up that Chinese food. Honestly, what do we pay her for? What are you doing? Why are you looking angry? He's just sort of glaring at the screen. God, we're an odd bunch of people. Oh God, it's Cassandra Goth. Why is she cackling evilly? 
Why are you eating the Chinese food? Oh. That's it. Kill her. Don't just invite yourself in. I saw that. I was right in front of me. That's it. What better way to prepare to propose to the man you love than to beat up his ex in um, your hallway? Yeah. Argue about art. Eleanor, if you could just um go and clean up the trash, that would be appreciated. I thought that was... Oh, I should get in the shower, but it's not. No, 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 we're not leaving, we're not leaving, we're not leaving. Where is she going? What's she doing? She's opening the laying our bird out. She's honestly the worst. Oh my god. What is wrong with this woman? Oh my god, I hate her. Honestly, she's worse than Ella. She's worse than Holly. Gross out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annoy. Come on, I just punch her. Where is she going now? That's it, Irene. You stand in her way. My God. She's everywhere. She's nowhere. And Irene's just freaking out. And the bird is loose. And it's all your fault, woman. Throw a drink. Throw it. Uh, annoy. Annoy her. Yes, yes, yes. Fight. Poke her. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Poke her, poke her again. Iron's here, Iron knows what's happening. He's all ready to watch the fight. Oh, we're having a poking fight. Oh, this is the worst, the worst. Oh, it's gonna be night time when we propose, that's so nice. Poke her again, poke her, shove her, escalate. That's still a poke, I wanted to shove. Shove her. Shove. Yes. Oh, here we go. Lauren, you might want to wake up for this. This is going to be incredible. No, no, no. no. Oh, flirt. Fight. They're just so similar. Yeah, shove. Shove. Slap. Slap. Yeah, Cassandra Goth is what you get for uh, kicking over my trash can and taking my man and releasing my bird and all the other terrible things you've done to me. Don't run away. Don't you run away. Ah, to cry. Oh, it's the first snowfall. God is smiling down at us as we beat this poor woman. Uh, is that bird stuck again? Is Holly available to talk? No. Well, yes. Technically, I don't know. I'm not paying attention. That bird is stuck again. And it's all your fault, Cassandra. Do you know how hard it was to get that bird unstuck from that corner? Don't run away. Don't run away from me. Don't you run away. You cold-hearted monster. I tried for a whole episode. I had to turn on testing cheats. I had to do all this stupid stuff to free that bird. Don't you weep when I could be punching you in the face. Yes. Yes. Slap her some more. Holly, are you not supposed to be answering the phone? Reading. Fight her. Why? Why can't we like proper fight her yet? Are we not like enemies enough? We've been pretty much hate each other. I hate her. She's ruined everything in this family in a space of like what? A couple of hours? She just keeps running through the other side of the bedroom. Honestly, it's starting to get annoying. Just to weep to herself. You know? Weep on your own time, Cassandra. This proposal thing really went uh, south quickly, didn't it? I feel we may have got a bit distracted. Shiver. When do we get to actually fight you? I just hate you so much, Cassandra. I really want to, like, fight you to get, like, a lot, you know? And oh, I made a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Irritate. Gross her out. Annoy her. Can I make her my enemy? Attack! Yes, that's what we're doing. No, 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 no. Irritate. No. Oh. 
Right. Attack. Right, here we go, Aisha. Now is the time to prove yourself. Yeah, prove yourself for your man. This woman has wronged our family. She ruined our trash, she ruined our bird, and she ruined our proposal. Yes! Yes! Fight! Darren is loving it. And or is shocked and horrified of what will become. Charlotte the bird is stuck in the exact same corner. Iron is just having a blast. Come on, if you don't win, Aisha. Bother her. Get her in a headlock. This is wonderful. Well, Lauren is just staring out the window. Don't so she come out here and having a fight. Oh my god, Aisha, you got your ass kicked. Fight her again. We don't take that from no one. What is Iron doing? He's literally shaking. What the hell is going on over here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, oh, he's moving. Why is he shaking? Oh my god, that guy's on PCP or something. Right, just keep fighting each other. We're gonna go propose tomorrow, it looks like, because we're not in a very good mood, really. Um, it was nice to stop by, Darren. We just got a bit distracted when it. Oh, you got your ass kicked again. Well, I think that's time for us to all go to bed. Pretty much how my day goes. Yep. Uh, ask her to leave. Ask everyone to leave, really. Iron, why are you vibrating? Oh, now you don't like each other. What did you do, Iron? You're making everyone angry and you're vib really, really vibrating. What is going on? I'm concerned for your hell. You know, I'm concerned for... What on earth is happening? I genuinely think Iron has tried some meth. I really do. When we all go to bed, when we all go to bed, bed is such a great place to be. Da, 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 da. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Please stop being so weird. That's not your bed, Eleanor, and that's not your bed, Holly. Why are you so awful in every way? I see Iron doesn't want to sleep with her, Eleanor. Like, it's not like everyone else in the house where everyone just sleeps in the same bed because it's a bit odd. Go on, go to bed, in the right bed, it's not hard. I guess we've got Charlotte the bird stuck there for the rest of the episode now. That's just wonderful. God, Cassandra, she's the worst. Well, I guess we just have to wait for Lauren to give birth. Bide our time, really. When will it happen? We don't know. We don't know. That's why I'm wary to make any cuts in this video, because... You never really know, Holly, that's not sleeping, isn't it? I told you to go to bed. You know what we can do, and probably should do? Get someone here to, well, pay the bills for a start. Oh, God, yeah, fine, use the toilet. Fine, fine, fine. Just because you're pregnant, I think you can, you know, not pay the bills and not do all the petty tasks I want you to do. What is with the papers in this family? Oh, the computer's broken as well. We need a repairman. We just need a repairman. That's a sim. Oh, God. Call service. Here we go. Here we go. Lauren wants to um, get engaged to Iron, which that is going to happen. And once we get Lauren and Iron engaged, and uh, Aisha and that. Uh, Darren engaged and that's only two people we have left to rectify their love lives and then we get to move on to kids and then on to death really crank call oh we have to Ellen get out of bed oh my god we have to Ellen is not very fulfilled she is on her way to a mental breakdown that we can't crank call Cassandra Goff Mortimer Goff yeah, same house. Well, that wasn't very interesting. Either way, what do you want? What would make you happy? Buy a stereo. Ah, yes, I got rid of the stereo because it was annoying me. Buy electronic entertainment. Buy a bubble blower. Fine. What's electronic entertainment? That, this thing. Game simulator. Is that what you want? You want a game simulator? 
It doesn't really fit. It's gonna go there. Does it still work? Play, there you go, play the sims. Oh look, she's happy now. Easy to please. Oh yeah, now we have like an Xbox to play the sims on. <sighs> Lauren, when are you gonna give birth? You're really slowing up the whole process, really. Why don't you join? Why don't you join in? What are you doing? Watch. No, why watch when you can join? Come on, Lauren. Right. Today, we've got to get uh, Eleanor to fall in love with that guy who gave us his answering machine. Okay, well, there's no need for that. Let's have so many sofas around. Oh, so what are you doing? Because you just seem to be standing and staring at the window. Like, oh, he's going to check out the thingy. Oh, God, we were supposed to buy an exercise thingy, weren't we? For whoever needs to buy body skill. Fine. You know what? I'm going to go shopping. I'll put a cut in the video to buy all the useless crap that this family has decided they need. Right, Holly's off to work. Nobody cleaned up that trash. Nobody cleaned up the trash. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I can see things rotting under the snow. We've really devolved as a household. Right, go and clean up the trash like I told you before. But either way, what I bought, I, what first I bought a new car. It doesn't have bunnies on the side, unfortunately. I couldn't get that. But it is a lot larger. There's lots more seats for all of our eventual children and or if we want to take Eleanor to the shops with us one day. But we can now transport six, and that's one more than we even have. If we can go anywhere, really, we can bring the whole family. But yeah, this one has waves and a racing stripe, so it's still cool and childish. And I also bought an exercise thingy that Iron is so kindly demonstrating, even though it's not for him. And if there's one thing I can give this household, it's that it's actually starting to get small, like uh, the house, to fit all the useless items the family demands at every moment of the day. Lauren, one thing I can note is that you haven't given birth. And it's pretty much the end of the episode at this point. What gives with that? What gives with that, Laura? What gives with that? Like, I don't imagine it's difficult. Are you not, like, in labour? No, you are falling asleep in your omelette. Again. Please, if you're going to be a mess, at least be original. Oh, she's awaking from the omelette. Give birth. It's not hard. Like, just give birth. Oh, no, omelette. Yeah, wave, wave. Wave at the lady in the omelette. And the bird in the corner. And then rotted mess and iron just doing his thing. He's made himself fit. That's how long he's been doing this. He doesn't look happy at all. Oh my god, the omelette again. You are in such a bad mood and you're just a mess and I need you to give birth. The viewers, they will not be happy if you scan them out of a good birth in favour of omelettes. You can't just substitute the two. Go and have a shower. Go and have a shower. Or just go to bed, Lauren. Useless, absolutely useless. Don't wake up until you've given birth. Honestly, how rude. I have half a mind to just cut the video and play it out for a couple of hours. You've gained a point of body skill you don't even need, and the maid is waving at us again. Just come on, Iron. Oh, that was Aisha. I'm really not very good at knowing him, too. You have to get to work! You have to get to work! Oh, God, you've missed that carpool, haven't you? Because you're going on a bloody... You were going to get promotion as well. What the hell are you doing now? Vibrating. Yes, woo, look, you have muscles from that 20 minutes you spent on that thingy. Right, you've missed work. Get in the car. Get in the car. Drive to work. I hate you. I hate you. I really hate you. You're really the worst, you know that. Get out of the shower. You can go to work smelly at this point, Aaron. I really don't care. Just get out of this house. Oh my god, you can't even get out of the house because of that stupid bird. This place is a nightmare. Drive to work. Oh my god, it's Cassandra Goff again. Oh god, and she put more trash on our floor. 
there's just flies coming from the bushes. What is actually going on in this household? Iron is late for work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god, she's giving birth. <gasps> Lauren's giving birth. I knew you would do it. You really held us out to the last bloody minute. You just wanted Iron out of the house. You're wearing the same pajamas. There's a new family member on the way. Oh, we get the video as well. Truly incredible. Yeah, the little plum bulb splits into a double plum bulb. Callie or Heathcliff? Find out next episode, find out just now, because it's gonna be Callie, because that's the symbol for female. Voila! We have given birth. I hope you're happy, viewers. Iron, you missed it in favour of going to work, which you were late for. Really, you've ruined this episode. Maybe it's not your fault, maybe it's all the meth. <laughs> 